Moose the Cayo. It Maligayan Park that in sa video ito. Kun sayan, nayo magusap tayo. Tunko sa RU2 effing old. We're gonna talk about that right now. Right now, son! Are you too old? Okay, I'm doing this because for some reason, I have no idea what it is. And I'm not trying to like brag or be weird or whatever. Maybe I'm finally looking my age, I don't know. I have no idea what the hell has happened in the last like two months that's making everyone kind of go crazy right now. But here's the deal. A lot of people will like start talking trash to me or just like start saying stupid crap and then not know what to say and then just go, well, you're old. And it's like, so the fuck what? Everyone ages, everyone's getting old. You're older now than you were when you said that stupid comment three seconds ago. Entropy is real. You are constantly, every second that goes by, you are getting closer and closer to your fucking death and the decay of your entire being and body. That's that's what life is. There's there's no there's no tricking it. There's no way around it. There's no way to get away from it. Like we're all dying constantly. Some of us just do it faster than others. Okay. So there's that. So if you want to mix words with me, like you better bring your fucking A game because I will cut you with my tongue. That is what I fucking do. I am a fucking writer. I am a poet. It's what I do. Son. Jesus Christ. So if the best thing you can do to come at me is to say I'm old, that's the most lazy, ridiculous thing in the world. And it's stupid because it's a burn on me that will eventually be on you. So it's like, oh, I'm going to piss karma off. How are you going to do that? I'm going to call some people old. Okay, good luck to you, sir. Like, what the f Oh, my God. It's like, if I can respect somebody who has a lot of fucking game when they're fucking cutting fuckers, okay? So, if you come at me and you have some, like, really, like, good shit and you can, like, get me, I'm not going to be, like, like, all, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, shit, that was good as fuck. Why didn't I think of that, dude? That was, oh, like, I, like, I get, like, jealous, respectful when people come up with, like, if they can slay, oh, shit, dude, like, like, respect, we're, we're, we're buddies now, you know what I'm saying? So, that's awesome, and if you're going to come at me, like, prepare yourself, don't just show up thinking that, like, we're just, like, playing patty cake or something, like, if you're going to come at me, come hard and come prepared or else you're going to look like a fucking idiot and then you're going to end up saying something stupid like well uh, uh, you're old no shit and, but let me just fucking say something real quick I'm not fucking old like all these motherfuckers are like oh yeah you know I feel really old I don't fucking feel old like I know people are like oh it's just what old people say to make themselves feel better whatever I don't care like I've like I don't know what constitutes feeling old Okay? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be talking about here. I don't know what I need to say to you people for you to understand that I'm living an amazing life. Okay? I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm in touch with, like, just energy. I fucking can feel shit. I know shit. Everything feels good. I have an amazing sex life. Um, like... <clears throat> I exercise, I eat well, I do what I want, I have an amazing career, um, YouTube is so much fun, I enjoy it so much, and when people who, like, come at me and try to, like, use those things as the things that are, like, negative in my life, like, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do, I know how I'm gonna get this guy, I'm gonna tell him that, like, he doesn't have a job, Oh shit, damn it. God, you're 
right. I wish I was like you, slaving away and like hating my life and waiting until I'm 70 before I can do anything with it. Like, oh my God, dude, choke on it. What are you talking about? It's like, you're old, like people say you're only as old as you feel. And that is true to an extent, but cause like entropy, is real and that's gonna happen. But there are things you can do to make things better. That's why there's preventive health care, you know? That's why people fucking exercise. There's all sorts of things you can do to make your body not decay. If you sit on your ass most of the time and don't do anything, you're not active, you're not out doing things, you're not exercising, even if it's something little, if you're not doing anything, you are just slowly dying and accepting it. If all you do is watch TV, and the TV you watch, I'm even gonna go one further. If the TV you watch is standalone shit, like, just like movies, that like, just like, it's just a story and then it's over, you have nothing to look forward to. Your body is going to constantly feel like things are done. So you don't need to live any longer. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but my grandma watched soap operas religiously. And she lived to be like a million. Okay? So, she had something to look forward to every day. And she watched a lot of soaps. So, like, she was alive. And I want you guys to think about this. Your old um, Lolos and Lolas and your Nanais and your Titas and all this stuff. The ones that are old as fuck... Okay? Do they watch soap operas or things like that? Okay? The ones that aren't with us anymore, were they the ones that were beneath watching? Like, oh, I'm not going to watch that. That's beneath me. That's trash. If you have something that is constantly making you need to be around for the next, like, second, your body will stay around. I have so many projects to do. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I constantly feel like I'm 18. Because, like, I have too much shit to do. I have too many things coming. And I don't have time for it. So I have to stay around to finish them all. There's a lot of things I want to do still. Like, one of the things that scared me is when I was in my um, late 30s. Yeah, my late 30s. I had marked off everything on my bucket list. And I was like, oh shit. Oh no. Like, what am I going to do now? Because then I thought, like, if my bucket list was done, like, does that mean, like, I'm just going to die now? Because I have nothing else to, look, like, live, look forward to, to live for? So that totally freaked me out, like, 100%. So what did I do? I made a bigger fucking bucket list. And now my bucket list is so deep that it's going to take me a minute to finish it, you know? But because I am who I am, that bucket list is going to get finished because that's how I fucking roll. So ask yourself, are you old? Ask yourself, if you were, um, how do I say it? If you were in an argument with somebody and somebody called you old, how would that make you feel? Would you feel bad? Would you go like, oh, he's right. I should like hide it in my apartment and not come out because I don't want anyone to see my old wrinkled ass face. Or would you be like, yeah, I'm old. And you know what that means? I've done fucking everything and I did it fucking good. And you look like a chump because you haven't done shit. Like figure out what that means to you when somebody says that to you and feel good about being old. If you can't feel good about being old, that means you haven't done shit. And you need to get off the couch and get up and fucking do something. Good God. I, I, like, I'm not trying... And, like, I don't know why people think... And I'm not trying to, like, diss the Philippines or diss the people who go to the Philippines or anything like that. But you people who are going to the Philippines strictly for the dating, who think... That, like, the only place you can get, like, young, attractive women is the Philippines? You're nuts! Like, I don't want to throw body count numbers out, but the things I have done in the last year...
with the people who I've done it with, you guys would lose your effing minds. Like, the term daddy issues exists for a reason. And it didn't come from the Philippines, people. For fuck's sake. Jesus. Oh my god. It's not hard. Just don't be a fucking idiot. Don't be an asshole. Treat people with respect. And, like, be charming. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I hate that, like, the only person I can compare myself to lately is the fucking Dos Equis guy. Jesus Christ, dude. I feel, I feel younger than the Dos Equis guy, but, like, I'm trying to think if there's anybody, like, I'm, I'm the most interesting man alive. <laughs> I'll be a lot more interesting when I get out of my Honda and I get out of fucking LA, that's for sure. But um, I've done a lot of shit, guys. So, like, when somebody calls me old, it's just like, good, good. and I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm gonna say this because this is a legit gripe. If you are a homosexual and the best thing you could come up with is that I'm old, you're like doing a disservice to the entire homosexual community. The entire LGBTQ community is sad and crying because your best burn, your best comeback is I'm old. Oh my gosh. Like the LGBT community is like known for being snarky and quick and um, to just like have like amazing burns, man. And you're old? Are you joking me, dude? My God, hi Nicole. Like, we all expect more from you. We all expect more from you. Good Lord. So there's that. Let me see what else is there. Um, I don't know. I think that was a pretty good pep talk. But like, honestly, uh, Dan from Vagabond Awake. Yeah, that's the name of the channel on YouTube. Just posted a video the other day, actually, and I watched it right before I left, completely not thinking it was going to be remotely near what I'm talking about right now. But a really good video about how to live a better life in retirement. And, like, obviously, I'm not retired, and I am i don't think I'll ever be retired because, like, I just have to create all the time. But, like, for a lot of people, like, I think it's, like, the stuff he said in that video is so true. Like, you have to be active. You have to eat well. You have to look after yourself. And you have to, like, not stress out on dumb shit. And you have to, like, just fucking enjoy yourself. Or else you are taking years off your life every second. This isn't, like, new stuff, but, like, dude, seriously, like, I know Dan writes all of these, like, quick little ebooks and stuff, but Dan is such a well of information, and I wish he would write, like, his, like, like, tone, like, his, like, Tao of Chi or whatever. Like, Dan is such a brilliant guy, and I don't know if he knows how brilliant he is. Dan, you'll probably never watch anything on my channel, but if you ever happen to come across this, just know that you are ready to do that thing. So do it, okay? Good God, man. <sighs> anyway, guys, um, the countdown is on. I think we are at 11 days. No. No nine days. I think we're at nine days before takeoff. And I still haven't bought my ticket yet. Because this is how you do it. This is how you do it when you don't plan anything and you just live by the seat of your balls. Okay, guys? Huh. So, kakugusapin ko kayong mameya.